Yo, you just gotta love this right here. You gotta love it. Out here with some good friends, hearing that noise. That's the best noise in the world, baby. <laughs> <Go>. Yeah! <laughs> All right, now what? <laughs> good morning, y'all. Captain Collier here. Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I've posted. Y'all know how life gets. Things get busy. Been running a lot of trips. Kind of got down with the sickness for a little while, but back out here on the blackjack, got the boys here, Tanner D's, Salty Swigs. We're gonna be doing something fun today. Y'all see what we got on the boat. Hopefully. We just got the whole dang beach cart <laughs> on the back of the blackjack here. <laughs> I've rented Tanner out for the day. He's gonna be taking us on a extravagant beach charter. <laughs> and he's just gonna put us on tons of pompano and whiting and bull reds and everything else. Is that, Ain't that right? That's I mean, that's what I booked you for anyway. Right. That's what you heard, huh? <laughs> but that's the plan. We're going to uh, post up on one of these islands out here and, and see what we can get on. I think we can I think we can get on something, you know, some croakers well, or... Ideally, yes. Yeah. That would be great. Yeah. <laughs> I think we'll go find some fish, huh? <laughs> or maybe flounder. Flounder? Yeah. Never know. We we'll might figure we, something out. Yeah. We got our waders. Water temperature is sitting at about 65 degrees right now. Got a little light breeze that should be laying down mid-morning. But we're going to get on out here, have a good time. Y'all come join along with us. <laughs> All right. Just got set up on the beach here. We're unloading the beach cart. Get the power poles down in the back. Anchor out on the front. We about to get started here. Water clarity is definitely not the best, so I don't know how good we're going to do, but you don't know till you go. Good way to spend the Saturday. Right? So we got all our stuff set up here on the beach. You can see Tanner way out there, probably 50, 60 yards. He's throwing out our third set rig rod. And then uh, we've got one more to throw out and we'll be fishing at that point. One here, one here. He's out there throwing that one. We got one on this side. And we're kind of targeting this this point of this little small island that we're on. This is where the most of the surf is. Like I said, the water is not beautiful, and this probably isn't the, the best time to be targeting these fish. But hey, you don't know until you go. So we're going to see if we can get some bites and hopefully get on some fish. And then uh, we might also try for some redfish a little bit later on. But uh, it's just a beautiful day nonetheless out here having a good time. Yeah! Bring our first fish in, baby. We're on. Is he on though? Think so. Little whiting action. Please don't be a catfish. Not what we want. <laughs> All right. Well, our first catch of the day is a hardhead catfish. This is definitely not the desired species, but. It is a fish. That's how I like to grab these fish. If you got some pliers, just grab them by the roof of the mouth. You can usually pull that hook on out. If you don't know, these fish are definitely not the great tasting of the catfish species. So we're gonna let it go. Still on? Got a redfish? That's on the uh, the cut bait one you had? Yeah. yeah! How far are you gonna go? <laughs> Three pound hard head. <laughs> Y'all, we've been here probably at least an hour or so. And uh, you do I need to reel this one up? All right, we got us a little red fish. On the cut mullet. You want to pull them up a little farther? Right in the corner. <laughs> On the SSW. Pretty looking fish. Mullet. We still got our bait. Hold them up. Oh, baby. <laughs> Show us that thing. Beautiful. Cut mullet getting it done. Man, that's cool. I mean, that was what? 10 minutes? They, yeah. 10 15, 15 minutes? minutes. Yeah. 15, yeah. We might have to try that again. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, man. Get a good release on them. Come on now. Come on, 
Damn, go that way! Go that way! Let's go. What do you got? What do you got? In your net? A sheep? Flounder. Door mat. That's a mat. <laughs> That's a mat. Might want to get the net. Uh, That's a sheep. No, it's a big mane. Oh, yeah. It's a good mane. I'm eating this one! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Dude! Yeah, buddy! That's sick! That's That's good not. mane. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sheep, flounder, main. First three catches. <laughs> Hold that joker up. <laughs> I mean, that's probably a seven, 16 inch, 16 inch main, probably. Look at that. Yeah. That's Captain's choice. <laughs> well, as y'all can tell, the surf fishing thing didn't really work out. We caught that one bull red and uh, no, no other bites other than the hard head catfish. So we made a little move. We're fishing over a wreck. Got some live shrimps. Swig just caught a nice flounder. Tanner's got a main. First three catches, we had three different species. You sorry joker. Probably should get the net out. A sheep. Good sheep. Oh, I guess I will. Probably need to get the net. Probably need to get the net. That's a heavy sheep. I don't think so. Oh, oh. Tanner and Swigs are definitely uh, one up in me. I think I heard you. Nice sheep. Today. I think so. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're going to turn the tables around here. <laughs> Look at this guy, y'all. He's all yeah. beat up. He's, he's beat up. Bond out. Swigs just said that. Perfect reference to the characteristics of this fish and the state that it's in. Coming to the end of the spawn here. Been getting beat up out there, huh? Yeah. In the box she goes. Aha! Got him. Get out of there. Of course. <laughs> Sheep? Sheep. Yeah, buddy. Sheep. We'll take it. Get them on over here. Thank you, thank you. Yes, sir. I'm on the board, baby. I'm on the board with a sheep. Come on. <laughs> yeah. You thought yesterday was your last sheep trip of the year. I actually did. Ran a trip yesterday, y'all, and I thought that was going to be my last one. Well, targeting sheep's head. Not saying we won't catch any, you know, bycatch. On the board. That's him. That's him. Double up. Sheep. I got a, something small. Never mind. Are you sure? Yeet! Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Number three? Number three! Another one with a messed up tail there. Really nasty. Just from getting beat up on that gas yeah. ring, huh? Thank you. Whoa! <laughs> he caught it. Yeah! Nice goal. Yeah. That's a goal. Dude, that is a Woo! That is a solid <laughs> goal. <laughs> you got one too? I just got lit up. Did a, did a whole school just come through? No, I don't have a flounder. That's a nice goal. Swigs, pull that fish up here. Let me see that thing. Bro. Y'all check that out. Swigs just pulled up. A very quality, that's a gold flounder. If you yep. would, please, uh, please explain the difference yeah. between a southern flounder, which is what we normally catch. And so this it's going to be hard to see because it's changing colors, but you can see this one really distinct dot right there. Look at his tail. And then one right there and one right here. I know his tail is deformed up. or something and like healed itself. Yeah. But they have this triangle pattern of three dots right there. And then Dylan taught me this. Right here, you see those couple extra little mm -hmm. frills yeah a southern will kind of be like that yeah it'll have like three less and these are really exaggerated long on the end these last three and that's how you tell the difference between a southern and a golf one and look at that bait he just absolutely choked custom <laughs> no no no, no this is just a it's gone a regular yeah, uh, B cat. <laughs> I can't get it. Well, it's in there somewhere. It's a B cat, uh, uh, slick junior. That's cool. 
It's in there somewhere. I mean, he's got to be 16 inches. Yeah. You know, maybe with a not messed up tail, he'd be a little bit bigger. 17, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> kind of jealous, but you worked hard for it, sticking with the artificial. I like how we're crossed like this. Oh, oh, oh. Right oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. No way. You got a red? I got a mat. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. I think I got a red. You got the red? No, it's a fish. My line's a little frayed, though, so I got to take it easy. Yo, I got something pretty big here. It's right up under the boat. Sucker's heavy. No, he would have done broke me. It's heavy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, not the way he ran like that. No way. He ain't happy. A line was a little frayed from uh, rubbing against that wreck a little earlier, so I'm just playing it easy with this fish. This will make two for the day. It oh, it is a shark. shark. I told you. It was Shut your mouth, like Tanner. You didn't say nothing. It was acting like a shark the whole time. Get in there with him. <laughs> you got a shark? Yeah. What kind The dead kind. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Man, we gotta do our it wasn't a shark until you said something. <laughs> All right, well, not a bonnet, no. a bonnet. That's what I'm sorry. Yeah, it's it is not. a bonnet. You don't think so? I don't think so. Well, we got a little because if it's a bonnet, there's a lizard. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I didn't know you wanted him in the boat. Oh, that could be a bonnet head. I think it is. What's the length of it gotta be, Swiss? Put, put him down on the deck. Beautiful. Yeah, he's, he's pretty. So we're trying to figure out if this is a bonnet head shark or a scout like head. It, it, it kind of like does. Let me get it. Oh yeah, that's, can a, see how that's round a bonnet. It is. That's a bonnet head. Like okay, the, what's the, the length? You want to keep it for real? Yeah, for real. I've, I've wanted to try one forever. Can we have it? Yeah, for sure. Oh, it's a fat one. All right, y'all. Well, <laughs> just pulled in a bonnet head. This is actually a PB. We normally do not see them this big. And uh, they're actually in season. There's not a, a length. No, so there's no, it's open season and an open limit for one. For one. Per person. Okay. I, I thought it was always open season. Please. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Well, let's see. Let's get a quick <laughs> measurement. <laughs> So he's about 41 inches. These boys want to keep them. I've never, there's ne no size never kept a shark, never ate shark one. So or a shark. It's very important to gut these fish, bleed them out as quick as possible yep. because they do excrete waste through their skin. And you, you want to eat these them. fish. Yeah. Gut yeah. Gut and uh, there's the teeth. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> 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 All right, <laughs> it's just, the camera's different than right. me. All no right. minimum size. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put this fish out of its misery and uh, get a picture. We'll get some uh, some steaks out of it. Yeah. Oh, I think that's him. Yep. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Caught it. <laughs> Give the new yeah. one on live prom, yes? Yeah, buddy. That looks like a gulf. Can I get a net just so I can make sure we get this fish in? Oh, here you go, man. Nah, I think it's, it's just a regular old flat, flatty patty, baby. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Come on, baby. <laughs> Woo. Second cast on that lure. It's so sketchy, like, wanting to set the hook around a wreck because it's right. like you got to wait a minute and just see Feel if it's it. a fish. Yeah. He kind of lifts it up off the bottom a little bit. All right, so that is my first flounder. I've got a sheep's head, a bonnet head shark, and a flounder now. This is a, a new bait from uh, Styx Outdoors. So new, this bait doesn't even have a name, but beautiful color, especially in some clean water. First time throwing it, that was my second. 
Second time throwing it out on this spot, we got us a beautiful 17 inch, probably 16 probably inch. Eighteen. Seventeen inch flounder. Yep. Should we should we put a tag in this one and let him go? Sure. Yeah, yeah. you got tags. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So we got plenty like of fish in the box. We're gonna throw a tag in this flounder and throw them back in the water. By the way, I do have over 70 flounder tags out here that I've been tagging since September. So if y'all do happen to catch a flounder with a purple tag, be sure to check out the number to call on there, or you can just go to the University of South Alabama. I'll have a link for it down in the description below. Just go down there and enter the information of how big the fish is, and uh, if you want, where you caught it. Oh, Tanner just missed the fish. And we're a part of it. Yeah, shout out to uh, Dylan King, Dr. Dormat, our boy. 2644. Yeah, so now y'all remember that number. This fish is going back home. Just like that. In style, baby. Yeah. Going back in style. So, uh... Hurry up, chunk it out, chunk it out. Let's get a triple, baby. Oh, I see him. Oh, shit. Shoot, my Did bad. No. Oh, look at them. Come on. Oh, they're on top of the water. Let's go, baby. Look at them. Look at them. They're beautiful. Oh, he's on it. Oh, look at them all. <laughs> Triple up, baby. Come on. Y'all, they're on top of the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I turned it off. Dude. Triple up. Got to get the drone in there for this, man. This is crazy. Look at that ugly stick. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Triple that. Bro, stay on this boat. Well, that just makes for even funner stuff, you know, to fall out. What are y'all doing? I mean, I, I've had mine up. Bro, I got a real fish here. I hooked up last. I hooked up first. Look at that giant. <laughs> Look at that giant. <laughs> yeah! Alright, now what? <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> get down, get down. Let's go! <sighs> oh! Came off? What in the world happened? No, oh no! no. Y'all, how sick was that right there? I mean, that is like just five minutes of pure, you know, adrenaline, blood pumping. Just so fun. That dude. had to have been at least four or five dozen, maybe more redfish. I mean, it was, was instant. The biggest, but it got on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. Smoking on his face. <laughs> and we are throwing the seven inch Z Man paddle tail. That's on a diesel eye. Three quarter ounce jig head. Ooh, he's not happy. Swigs had his uh, snap swivel bend out on him. Look at I knew I probably shouldn't have done that. Nine inch lure. Not too big, not too small. All right, we need to get back on them. They over there. We're gonna let these girls go, let them breed. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> See if there's any more following them. Oh! Yo, double duck. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. Throw us in gear. I'm gonna throw us in gear for a minute. All right, put your right tip down real quick. Oh, no! 
Throw it back out, throw it back out. Did he break? No. You see me set that? Oh, that's good. I did. I can't land one today, bro. Was you just ripping it through or did you kind of let it sink a little bit? Yeah, you birds. probably right when it fell. I saw those birds and I was just like, I'll just throw there. That's a stud right there. That's a monster right there. And that was quicker than your other one. Way quicker. Way, way quicker than your other one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care y'all as long as it's, somebody's getting on them. Big old girl. That's so cool, man. These fish oh, are I something else. I wish I else. could touch one of mine. I don't know why they keep getting off. All right, let her go. There we go. There we go. This one sure ain't fighting very much. Nope. I mean, he's coming right to the boat. <laughs> Come on, Swig, get him. Now he knows he's hooked. Y'all hear that? Man. I was like, this one ain't very big. He ain't fighting at all. He was swimming to me. Y'all, you just gotta love this right here. You gotta love it. Out here with some good friends, hearing that noise. That's the best noise in the world, <laughs> baby. <laughs> I thought you was too, to be honest. I mean, I, he was right here. I mean, this is not light drag. I mean, I've got it fairly tight. Oh, just popped it right there. How does that happen? I don't know. How? Like, how do they pull that much drag and the barb has not? <sighs> it's all right. It's all good. Kind of hurt. It only hurts my feelings just a little bit. 